G in coupled receptor a GPCR is most abundant and largest superfamily of receptors. It mediate most cellular responses to hormones and neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine, epinephrine, dopamine, histamine, and serotonin. The G protein coupled receptors activation accounts for the actions of almost half of all non-antibiotic prescription drugs. The G protein coupled receptor comprises of seven membrane spanning alpha helices coupled with G protein. These structural features give it several names such as seven transmembrane domain receptor, heptahelical receptor, serpentine receptor and G protein linked receptors GPLR. The G protein is key structural feature of GPCR. The G proteins consist of three subunits alpha, beta and gamma. Guanine nucleotides bind to the alpha subunit, which also has enzymatic GT passe activity and catalyze the conversion of GTP to GDP. When GPCR is activated by binding of an agonist molecule to the extracellular ligand binding domain, a conformational change occurs which causes release of GDP from alpha subunit of G protein, the dissociated GDP is replaced with GTP. This change causes dissociation of the G protein trimer and release of alpha subunit with GTP and beta gamma subunits remain together as a beta gamma complex. The activated alpha subunit of the G protein causes activation of enzymes and synthesis of second messengers. For an example stimulation adenyl cyclase and synthesis of CAMP as a second messenger. The activity of GTPAS of the alpha subunit leads to hydrolysis of GTP to GDP. The alpha, beta and gamma subunits reunite and GPCR become inactivated. The subtypes of G-protein coupled receptors. The types of alpha subunits G-protein is having, determines the target as well as nature of receptor and biological effects. Receptor having alpha S subunits stimulate adenyl cyclase and enhance synthesis of second messenger camp. Receptor having alpha I subunits inhibits adenyl cyclase and reduce synthesis of second messenger camp. Receptor having alpha Q subunits activates phospholipase C, increasing production of second messengers inositol trisphosphate and diacylglycerol. Like, share, and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.